so today uh, i would be demonstrating to you bending of the reconstruction plates uh, which are normally required in acetabular fixation so you either need a long plate which is typically 13 to 15 hole plate which is needed for the anterior brim or you need a shorter plate which are either 8 hole or 9 hole which are for the posterior part so these are the three most commonest plates which are used uh, in acetabular fixation and uh, we'll just keep it simple and try to tell you how they are bent so these are the L benders as you can see and they are used to bend the plate by holding them in between the teeth so you hold them here and give a stress and bend them at whatever place you want to now these cuts facilitate the fact that the plates normally uh, would not bend through the screw holes but uh, they are not very accurate they can still do them. so let us take the anterior plate and uh, show you how we normally uh, do the bending of the anterior plate so this is the side bender or the C bender which you can call very simple one you even have the more uh, sophisticated ones uh, which give more functions like the side bending as well as the uh, different uh, direction bendings so we hold the plate at the edge where you want to start bending typically this is at the anterior part so where uh, the pubic bone starts the curve starts so a simple rule is that these plates are invariably J plates so if you are using a 14 hole plate up to the 7 hole you would need a bending and after that it is almost a straight plate so you can do it single hand or if you have a assistant you can secure the plate on this bender so you can move one hole at a time and keep moving further so you can see I am using my forearm as a support to help this bending process this bending would be different for the right and the left in fact it will be opposite so we are almost halfway through and that is where typically you need that much bending So let us put it on the pelvis and see whether the contour is appropriate or we need to do it further. I am just using a model of pelvis to demonstrate the same. So we have contoured this plate for the right side and you can see it is beautifully sitting. It is beautifully sitting here. If you look at it from the top, it is almost the right contour. So the, the rule is that if you take a plate and bend it halfway through, you will almost get the correct J shape. Now the only thing is it is standing out from here, which might need a bit of a contouring. And you can do it in two ways. You can just lift off the periphery of the plate or you can hope that when you tighten the 3.5 screws it will settle down most of the recon plates settle down when you tighten the 3.5 screws so i'm just giving a bend at the end of the plate so that it remains off so there you see now it's almost setting now so that's that's a uh, that's all that is required and uh, the trick of putting these plates is that you invariably slide them vertically like this take them underneath and then gradually make them horizontal 
there would be people who will uh, do it this way also take it from here and get it there and once you're reaching there you just twist it back so this is the demonstration for contouring of the anterior pelvic plate which is a very very common plate used for acetabular fracture fixation thank you GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>